everybody is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somehow this is working. Now watch, my phone is gonna get floppy. Floppy. I gotta fix my screen. My desk is a mess. My uh, laptop is officially dead as a doornail. I was here, I gotta let some people know. It's a good thing I have two phones, right? So I'll upload the thumbnail later. Um, I'm gonna try and send it to Diane and then maybe she can put it in the in the chat for you guys. Maybe. Um, I'm just going to phone Diane, make sure she knows what's going on, because I think the texting is too slow. Hello. Yes, I am on live on another one, but I need to give you the link so you can put it in the text of the old link so people can find it. Do you mind? Because I can't get in it because I can't go in as me into my own live and do that. Thank you, ma'am. See you in a minute. Sorry about all the hubbub. Let's see. Now we try this again. And go to YouTube. I should be able to go in as my husband. No. Yeah, I know I have a doctor's appointment. That's tomorrow. Okay, I'm coming. I was even doing my nails earlier with my mini light. Things are just not going with the way they're supposed to. So if I go here and I go, Mr. Sparkles, and I go here, then I can go copy, share, copy link, and go over to Diane. And there it is. So hopefully, <laughs> You guys find me? I have no idea. I guess I could sit and watch the chat as him on my phone. So, sorry, honey. My husband has, like, his Mr. Sparkles, one that he uses to um, be in the lives with us. So, let me see. Mr. Sparkles. And I can't I see the new one? Do, 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 do. Should be public. Oh, I know what I could do. I can go to the chat and then go to my own link. That should work. But no, no. I'm already on there. No, wrong one. This is so stressful. And now my computer, which was a very high-end machine that I can't afford to replace, is now dead. I know Carrie's live. I'll be on there later. Where's my new live going? Yeah, I'm trying. Does this say this is public? How do I share this? But I've got five likes. Am I on my own live now? <laughs> Let's see, live chat. Oh, we're on. We're on the old one now, Diane. Diane, it's working. I have no clue why. I see people in here, Diane. Hi, I'm waving. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Melanie. Who else is in here? Why can't I see this? I am so sorry, guys. This is like, my laptop is officially bit the bucket. I think I bought it in like, 016, 
So what's that? Is it seven years old? It was high end and super expensive because, you know, I had the giant paycheck then. I haven't had one since, but back then I did. Um, let's see. Um, try the old one. I don't know. Why isn't it coming up in the feed? You guys don't go anywhere. Oh, this is the new one. You're in the new one. Ah, oh, okay, Diane's there. Kimmy, Melanie. Yay. Sorry, Diane. Um, okay, let me see. I'm confused. Um, because I can't see your chat because it's up in the air because you're seeing my desk because I've got my phone for my whipping chat on. So let me, and I better check my batteries too, right? Before I start chit chatting about nothing. Well, it's not nothing. It's just, I'm just frazzled. I'm a frazzle lead. So it'd give me a sec to be unfrazzled. Plus at 11.15, I said to my son, oh, you need to get up and help me. I'm going live in two hours. And he goes, well, what time are you going live? And I said, well, at noon. He says, what, well, mom, it's 11.15. I'm like, oh, great. So I lost an hour somewhere. <laughs> That's why one hand is half done nails. They're kind of sticky still. This hand that got done nails, because I was making some trays this morning and I wanted to pour the goo before the resin, before I, before, oh God. That means I have nothing, you guys. All my files are in there. So what I had to do is disconnect the computer with the, with the, it's got like a tablet thing. I'll show you it actually and you can see my struggle I'll just take my password off because I have it on a sticker in case my husband needs to use it um I just want to badly want to see the chat why can't I see the chats because now how do I talk to you if I can't see chats okay go to Angie who's live and mm, Okay, now I can see my arm. Okay, cool. Now, how do I see the chat? Um, there it is. Yay, Elisa, hi. The only good thing is that I did manage to get my phone to switch directions. My phone had to be on auto rotate and then I had to turn it. So that's the only good thing about today. Other than that, Lisa, my Microsoft Windows book with the removable tablet officially will not turn on. I don't know what I'm going to do because my life is in there and I don't have it backed up because I'm mad at, at, at Microsoft and I won't pay them. <laughs> I, because the, it's about the principle of it. I had a full license of Windows when I bought the computer. And they, they want me to pay by month now. After I wiped my computer, when my grandma died last year, my cousin helped me, and we wiped my computer and reloaded it. And then it thinks it needs a subscription. And I just refused to pay them. That was already included, like, probably four or $500 Canadian in my... I just gotta go get my phone stand. I'm still here. I haven't left. You're not seeing too much mass so far. I see how I'm trying to use. Oh. Oh, yeah, you can't hear me on the phone. I'm looking at you. I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Where is my phone
chat go? Now where's the chat? There it is. Okay. Hello, I am back. I now have a phone stand. So blind me can stand up my phone and see what you guys are saying. See, because I cannot, I can't see. I have to stand it up. Oh, breathe, breathe. Mia, you missed all the drama. My uh, laptop is dead. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all on any level. I wonder if I can turn this sideways so it's bigger. Hang on. So I don't want to wear my stupid glasses yet. I didn't buy my glasses to have to wear them all the time. Yeah, oh no. And I was thinking about when did I get this laptop? The reason I bought a Microsoft book is because I had one in my old job and I loved it. And so I bought one for me because you can't put personal stuff on under the company policy on the company laptop, they had really strict rules about that, which is correct because if you put company your personal stuff on a company machine, they own that. They own the books and records and documents created on their, their hardware. That's how most people don't realize that when they're going in their personal stuff on company machines, that they have every right to look at it. Anyway, whether you agree or not, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna try and fix this a little, not too much, I don't wanna give anybody a headache. And I'm not gonna touch it a whole lot because, yeah, we're just, oh my God. I can't believe what happened, Leanna. My computer is dead. I am like gonna be lost without it. I was, I had it downstairs and I was printing labels and getting everything organized because I ran out of boxes yesterday for orders. So I had to order more boxes, but I thought I can at least lay out each order this way and have all the shipping papers done. Now I have no way to do that. So if this does not turn on, I'm actually gonna have to go to Staples and buy a computer. Which does not make me happy because that means I'm gonna have to get a cheat machine and I don't wanna get a cheat machine. Cause as you can see, like this one lasted me seven years. Oh, stress Stressed out. So let's talk about something else. Well, I have been stressed out because yesterday was a really bad dog day for kisses. Um, she, I woke up yesterday morning and she had thrown up in the night. And then when I fed her and put her outside, she threw up again. And then, you know, it's not cool, right? So that means she threw up her dinner threw up her breakfast and I fed her lunch because I've been trying to feed her um, three to four times a day to get enough calories in her so she doesn't lose any more weight, right? Because if you can't eat very much at a time, I don't mind, I'm here, right? I can feed her four or five times or whatever. And if the big dog steals, Heidi is a mooch and will steal her food. So, um, and I think there's a delay between when I'm talking and the chat can somebody say hi, hi again? Hey Vivian, nice to see you. We're just talking about my computer that died. That's why I had a different life. So there's probably people that can't find me. Like, I don't, I don't even know, like all my, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh-oh. All of everything is in that machine. I might have to take it in to somewhere to get them to turn it on. Now it's plugged in. Let's look at it really quick because maybe it's just, Bonjour Melanie, nice to see you here. How are you today? Comment ça va? I am comme si comme ça. Not very well, but I'm gonna say, hmm. here's my machine. See, it's a Surface Book. So this disconnects. So what I was doing was, let me keep the power plugged into it, is I was flipping it around so that I could do my lives from that. 
which doesn't hurt it because it has that ability, right? It just says, oh, do you want to switch to tablet mode? And I just say, no, I don't want to be in tablet mode. Can you please, you know, do what you're supposed to do? And where is my power cord now? There it is. So like, this thing has been to France with me and back twice. It's been to Europe with me twice. So it has been a really good machine until it started running out of memory. So I just wanna see, no, how old is my computer? Well, but the problem, the thing is I spent a lot on this machine. So let's see, will it even turn on? Nope, she's dead. It's warm, like it should be. The light's on for the power on the side. So I thought maybe it was just too dead because when I tur first turned it on, it wanted it wanted me to put my pin in and it was ignoring it and pressing all the buttons. Oh, this has got me so stressed. You have no idea. This impacts my ability to find a job and the ability to do anything. I can't, well, I can get into Etsy, but I can't get into chit chats to print stuff. So it's a good thing I already printed some out last night. IT had to do that once to troubleshoot. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm going to call my cousin in Calgary and get him to tell me if it's dead or not. He's uh, IT for a big construction company. I just feel really, I feel really naked. It's like if my phone didn't work. It's very strange. I know I need to breathe. My nails turned out pretty though, although I only did one hand and now this hand is all scratchy. So I'll have to file it and repaint it because I didn't get to finish it because of the time. I can't remove the battery because it's all one piece. I don't think. It's a tablet. So this thing has, yeah, no battery slot. It's a Surface Book. I think it was like $3,000 or something at the time. Which was, you know, not the high end, but, you know, it's when solid state drives first came out. So it has like a 256 solid state drive and 8 gigs of RAM. Or is it 16? I can't remember. Anyway, I'll just try to recover from that. Let's do something fun. First, I'm going to take off my dumb glasses because they hurt my nose. Because I bought these. I, when I when I got these, I didn't need them all the time, so I didn't, you know, I bought them because I like them because they're Tiffany's frames, right? They've got the blue, Tiffany blue on them. Hey, and I ordered the Tiffany pen from, um, Tiffany blue pen from Leopard Leatherworks, actually. Do I have an external backup? Kind of. It might be six months old, though. Yeah. And yeah. I might just go buy a computer and then see if I can troubleshoot that way. And then if I don't need to keep it, I'll just return it. Because you can only you can buy them and return them within five days, right? So we'll see. The price matters if I don't have a job to pay for it though. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. So you guys can see this. I should probably move this away. It's probably in the way anyhow. So I'll put it over here by my coffee cup. Out of the way. What else can you see? Oh, look at me. I'm moving that now. <laughs> That's the leg. I don't have Geek Squad. I didn't buy it that way. I don't believe in warranties or Geek Squads. I will not pay those people. I know enough to take apart a desktop. That's the thing. I know how to um, build them. But a laptop is a totally different beast. So the reason I didn't get a new one, because I knew I didn't have enough hard drive, is because... Well, thank you. Do you work in uh, IT, Melanie? Yeah. Well, I have another place called Memory Express here in Langley, and I really like them. 
They're really good. It'll depend on um, what the turnaround time is where I take it. And I'm going to check my backup first. So if I go buy a laptop on sale from, from Staples for like five, 500 bucks, probably like a cheap one. Then I can at least check out what's on my backup, which is somewhere in my pile of stuff. I have multiple backups. I'm a nerd too, Melanie. I'm an accountant. I'm an accounting artist nerd. I'm an artist accounting nerd. How about that? So I'm a square, I'm a round person in a square pig to be an accountant. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I am who I am. Isn't that what Papa used to say? I got to go and grab a hair elastic because I'm stressed and I like, yeah, I just do. That's what I do when I'm stressed. I put my hair up on my head. So hang on a second. You guys don't even want to see me today. I'm just a disaster zone. Hang on a minute. Uh, just me. No one else. Eddie, my computer will not turn on. Like it will not. It has like no guts at all. No nothing. Oh, you know what I could do? I could take my backup and plug it into your machine. We can see what's on it before I buy anything and decide what to do. We could just do that, couldn't we? Yeah, my son has a computer. I'll just uh, get him to look at my hard drive or my uh, external drive. My external drive has pictures and stuff on it, but there's like, I haven't. Oh, you work in child protection services? Yeah, my mom used to do that. Yes, change the subject. Thank you, Vivian. The wing is now complete. Now, is it plugged in? Oh, look at that. We're plugged in. Yes, I worked on it in my whip and chop. Do you like the sparkles? And I have lots of things to show you guys today. So... Perfect, then let's have some fun. Yes, Leanna, thank you. You guys are so nice to me. I hate getting stressed. That's why I don't want a high stress job. And I'm trying to figure out how not to have to go to back, back to work at all, but that might not happen. We'll see. Um, I'm looking for like a contract for six months for right now, and then I'm gonna see what happens after that. Like whatever comes up, of course, but. I don't want the stress. Anyway, so what do we want to look at? Do you guys want to see um, what I'm making for Carrie at Leopard Leather Works? You guys want to see? I started her Virgo tray. Isn't it pretty? Do, 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 do. It has lights, feet. I just have to do a little bit of um, fine sanding here. John did the edges on it last night, and then I will add crystals on top. The difference this time is I added some um, star-shaped glitter, which I really like in there. I'm, I'm jealous, Vivian, I, and yeah, I would like to be working. So this is Virgo. Now, can you tell me, is... Is anybody watching me on their TV or on their laptop to tell me if my picture is in landscape this time? I just want to go turn on a light that I, I usually plug it into my laptop, but it's not working. So I have to try a different thing. This is like a USB little ring light that I have. I wonder, I'm going to try this. I wonder if this will work. See? No power, none, none, power, no power. <gasps> it turned on. Maybe it was just dead. It's turning on, it's turning on, it's turning on. Oh, and Heidi's got somebody. <laughs> She's such a hound. I love that bark. It goes right through my belly. <laughs> I'm a hound dog. And then Buddy has to pitch it and help. Oh my gosh, it just turned on. Thank you, Melanie, for letting me know. So the good thing in all of this is the computer turned on. It reminds me I need to go do a full backup of everything on there. 
And I maybe I should start looking for a new machine if it's starting to get cranky before I lose everything, right? So I do have two external drives, those little sand disk things that are like 1T. I just got to go find them. I haven't done any backup probably since the summer. Yes, they're all touring and the dogs think somebody's here. Heidi, come here. Heidi, buddy. Heidi. Yes, buddy. Come and show everybody how cute you are. And I'll cheer up everybody. Show them your sweater and your haircut. Here he is. Oh, can you see him? Hey, buddy. Are you going to talk? Are you going to talk to the people? Can you hear him? What's up? What are you doing? Was there somebody there? Was there? Yeah, you thought so, didn't you? You thought so. You're putting your hand on the trays and in the glue. Meow. Well, thank you for coming and calming me down, buddy. That was very nice of you. <laughs> buddy Roo. Buddy Roo. Are you going to talk? You were sure talking to dad last night. He was sitting on my husband and he was going. Rrr, 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 rrr. Yeah, kisses. I know you're giving me kisses. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Did your dog job. That's his job. Don't be such a grumble belly. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry about my dogs. Yes, and he's a monster. He is a wolf in a little tiny sheep suit. <laughs> he's white and fluffy. Kisses is downstairs. I think I was telling you she had a hard day yesterday. I woke up this morning and she threw up again this morning. So last night, because she had thrown up, I made her chicken and rice, like just plain chicken and rice, because every time they've ever had stomach infections, that's what the vet always says to give them. And she threw up this morning after having chicken and rice last night. So now I don't know what to do. So we gave her a very small mini meal with her medication and she's had a drink. And Eddie and I are, my son is named Eddie, if you didn't know, are watching her today to see if she could keep that down because she really can't afford to lose any weight. So yeah. hopefully whatever it is passes because taking her to the vet's not. The vet, my vet will just be saying she's in palliative care, she's suffering, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not, I, yeah. Uh, yesterday was not a good day for me. I had a hard day, a very hard day yesterday. So pumpkin, right? I forgot about pumpkin. The problem is she just doesn't eat unless she feels like it. And when she eats, she only eats a couple bites full and she walks away. She just won't eat. And like even her favorite foods, she doesn't care. I give her like cooked chicken, she'll walk away. That's not normal. She's been doing that for about a week. I'll get her some pumpkin too, though. She, if she won't eat it, she won't eat it. I guess I could squirt some pumpkin down her throat to make sure she gets it. I have those little tiny syringes I use for her cough medicine because she has uh, congestive heart failure and she also has had seizures for a long, long time. So she's on all these pills. It's weirding me out because I can see the time lapse on my phone beside me. So I'm, I am, don't know what I'm going to do about that. But anyways, there's Carrie's tray and Carrie is having a pen drop at noon, no, at six o'clock Mountain Standard Time, which I think, I don't know, it's one o'clock here. So wouldn't that be at like five o'clock my time? Anyways, it's after me. So that's all I cared about was I made sure it wasn't at the same time. Right, and because I'm home, I can feed her, right? And this morning when she got up, she was standing between, she got herself, I don't know how, she's stuck in the hallway. 
So I came back up to get her because I got up at seven and she stayed in bed on her dog bed. I came upstairs and here she was in the hallway stuck. With, I've got a hope chest in the hallway with stuff in it. Between that and the corner, I guess she couldn't find the stairway down. I don't know. Anyway, let's do something fun. So now that my computer is working, I should put some music on to calm myself down. I'm going to do that. <gasps> Look, I'm logging in. Yay! Yay! Sure! I don't... Binging... Oh, you're binging Succession with Hubby and you'll pop in later? Yeah, I'll be in here for a while. Yeah, I have a, like a mega tray coming today. I know you saw the mermaid one. This one is a sparkle, all sparkle tray. Ooh, it didn't like opening all those windows. It just went. <sighs> Probably. See, so then if I wipe it. Hello, Vanessa. Yeah, please like and subscribe. It's really nice to meet you. Hit the subscribe bell and the like bell. And we'd love to have you in here. We are hanging out. Welcome to Angie's world. And surprised she's not rolling her eyes, Mia, when she said that. Angie's world. So that doesn't sound very good because it's like Waldo's world is kind of Angie's world sometimes. So I'm going to go to my, yeah. It's so nice to have you here. Welcome. Everybody here is nice. So my whip and chat is not going to help. And yeah, I think it was the battery. But if I go get a new computer... Then, and the old computer's still working, then what do I do with the old computer? Then I have it sitting on the... <laughs> Woo! That's too loud. Sorry. That's like blasting. You like Angie's World. I know. Angie's World is a little bit wackadoodle sometimes. I want to show you guys. This is how old I am. I keep this for posterity. This is my old laptop. It's a Toshiba 310 CDS satellite. Look at that sucker. That's a nice, lap, nice laptop. Do you know how much this thing was? This cost me a fortune when I was going through the CPA program to buy. It's heavy. Last time it still turned on too. I bet you it doesn't turn on now though. But I used to haul it. Look at this sucker. I used to haul this to work. Isn't that cool? Oh, you young folks. Look at my, I even had like a, look, I wore it out. You can see marks from my hands. Yeah, I keep this on my shelf. It's like an anchor. You can use it for an anchor. It weighs so much. Maybe that's how I wrecked my back, carrying that thing around. <laughs> so that also means that I can put on my double screen and I can put my chat on my screen so I can see what's going on so I'm not so confused. So it's hard to see. Yeah, I had older computers than that, obviously, but that was like my very, very first laptop. Because I worked and went to school. I did everything the hard way. Why is that not working? No. Uh, I have to fix my monitors. Just a sec. My dual's not working. Well, why would it, right? Not optimum mode. HDMI 1. Oh, it's really unhappy. I usually just plug it in and it's fine. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, well. More signs of problems, right? Trees, trees, trees. Let's see trees. Well, yours, yours are in the box. My husband picked up the right size of Canada Post box because then I didn't have to buy a nice box to send everything. So trays you want to see. Okay, so I made, I've had some pre-orders on 
flowers only trays. So here's one of them. I also tried to make five of these yesterday. I have three here, two completely melted down. Okay. Um, these are the ones I finished off this morning because they take two days to make, right? Two to three days. Well, okay, make, what does that mean? They're not finished yet. They don't have feet. They haven't had any filing. They don't have a trashy yet. But yeah. Oh, I need my doctor's gloves. Where are my doctor's gloves? Here we go. It just match all the other cuts that I have. How are you feeling, Leanna? Are you feeling any better? Which way do my gloves go? Are they inside out? Right side out? Inside out. Wow! I'm trapped. No, I don't want two fingers in one spot. Inside out. Lisa, how are you doing after your appointment Monday? There we go. Ah. Let's see. This. There, we're ready now. We're ready to go. So everybody's ready for this one? Looks like some alcohol like, got swiped across the bottom. That doesn't matter. Actually, we can leave this on because that kind of looks cool over here, doesn't it? Do, 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 do. It's pretty. That one's pretty. Do you see it? Very, very flowery. Let's do this one next. Hi, Vanessa, these are my new um, flower theme trays. I also have some of these with fairies in them, but not today. You love it? No, they're all different. I can't do things the same. I'm not good at it. I can do a theme. How about that? A theme. Yep, they're turning out pretty good. So the alcohol ink is backed by white mica. So then the alcohol inks... Um, glow up with the white background right I like the yellows I think it makes it look really sunny right and I'm really liking some of the parts on these where the flowers are feathering out I don't know if you can see that when you see the feathering where this is all like me creating things along the edges all these swirlies and everything. Some of it's abstract. I like this down here. This play and this mark. And I like this abstract here. Yeah. It's fun. I got one more. Yeah. Well, and it's, they're fun to open because um, they're all different. another one this one goes this way I'm really liking this purple flower up here and this one here has a silver middle and I'm oh look at the edge on this all along here Can you see this edge like cells coming through on the inks all the cells They're called cells They're not alcohol markers, they're inks. So they're like liquid that I pour in the resin and that I have to wait until it's the right temperature and I have to watch them. And this one looks 3D, this piece here, there. Yeah, these paper flowers, they end up looking um, 3D, don't they? So that's cool. So I don't know, is Wendy in here? Wendy, are you here? If not, Wendy, I know you're going to watch the replay. Or I'm going to ask you to. Because I have Wendy's got a special order here, guys. 
She has ordered a mega tray with a couple things to go with it. Hey, Jennifer White. Nice to see you in here again. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? So these are some of the pre-order trays that I'll be finishing and then you'll go out. Unfortunately, a couple of them did not go yesterday. I don't know why. The resin didn't, it just didn't behave. So I had to throw them out. But that's how it goes with, with art. Sometimes things just don't go as planned, right? And other times you get super cool surprises too. Like look at all the cells up here. And all down here. Ooh, this looks like petals coming off this. So I'll go stare at these later. You're working and listening? Cool. I have my mermaid tray here today. Pretty lights for square. My glue dots. So now I'm going to want to go fill those three trays this afternoon with more flowers. So this is Wendy's order. She has ordered everything in ice blue. She's addicted to trays and loves all things sparkly. She has had ordered a sapphire blue tray, which is similar to this one. And then she saw the mega tray come on and she saw this color and was thinking, geez, you know, I could coordinate my desk with everything in ice blue. And wouldn't you know I was gonna make ice blue anyway? Wasn't I, Diane? Uh, uh, it will be a princess theme, not a particular princess, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in pink. Does pink work? pinks so this is my mega tray this is 31 centimeters long so to give you an idea of how big that is you can put these on top here that's giant right and it's wider too look so they hold a lot a lot of um it just worked out so good because I wanted to try and make a blue ice and then Wendy asked for one anyway. So I did. Look at it. It's been talking to me since Monday, asking me to open it. And I said no. I told it it had to wait till today. Um, is pink good, Vivian? So I'm going to do this one first, though. This is the snowflake box, which looks really cool in this color. This is a harder one to open. It's always sharp, always sharp. Look at that blue ice. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? I never really thought of it as a snowflake. I just think of it as a star, like a star in the sky. Yeah, I think of this not as a snowflake at all. I don't think it looks like a snowflake. I think it looks like a star. It reminds me of the star on my Christmas tree, though. It's um, Swarovski crystal star that I have on my hat on my Christmas tree. But yeah, that's the top. It looks like I need to go and I need to do some modifications. It looks like it ended up with bubbles, even though when I checked it, it didn't. So I can easily fill that. And this is the bottom. And I almost always, I know, isn't that amazing, Vivian? Thank you. And so then this is the jewelry box. I call it a star. Somebody else started calling it a snowflake. I call it a star. Look at that, it's clear with this crystal, the uh, looks like crystal, right? I call this blue ice. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if you guys can see it. My, my monitor, my phone's kind of tall. There, that's better. See, isn't that beautiful? 
Maybe I should put it back up on my site. I call it a star. It all fits really well together. Uh, Noella bought one of these. And the lid fits really well. It's actually got a fair amount of weight to it. So she wanted something to put on top of her mega tray that has a lid so her kitties would not get in her drawers. Because that's what happens is her kitties get in. Well, she want to put like her wax and stuff. So then I made her this large trashy she asked for. So this was extra because the mega tray doesn't just, just the tray, right? Oh, this is a hard one to open. This will take me a minute. I have to loosen it first. Sometimes when they're like this, I go put soap in them. <laughs> ah, ah, it is a struggle. Oh my goodness. Quit fighting with me. Urgh. Just doesn't want to let go. Oh, there we go. There's the large trashy. For you, it looks like a snowflake, but couldn't you think of it as, what's the name of uh, Frozen, right? Frozen theme, kind of. How come it has a dog hair on, on here? How did that happen on my mold? We'll have to clean that after. Yeah. Well, your trash is the same size. It's this bigger one that you're that's coming to you. So now for the ultimate tray on. So this is the second mega tray that I've made. The second one. The first one Liana bought and it's a mermaid theme and it's in my videos. Oh, wow. Wow, looks amazing. It's really stuck on there. It's new mold. Look at that, you guys. Wow, look at the sparkle on that. Can you see that? Sylvia, this is the same color as the tray you first bought. Sylvia, do you see this? So this is gonna be pretty cool, Wendy. So you put this here and then you can have your large trashy, your snowflake on it if you wanted to or beside it. And then let's see how many times does this hold. And this tray has been curing, so I'm not gonna scratch it. Look at that. Four pens, five pens. I think it holds like six pens easily. Yeah, without that there, it holds six across medium pens. Hey, Shay, what do you think of that? So this is the second mega tray that I've made. And I think this is the new generation of trays. Because I think the regular trinket trays, well, we all have a lot of pens, right? So you could put a lot on here. You could put your tweezers on here, your big trashy. Hey, I could put my Tylenol on there. I've got my... Oh, that's not my placer. Where did it go? Do do do. Do do do. You can get a heart on there too if you wanted a heart. Look. You could do that. How are you doing, Jay? Nice to see you here. Are you at work? You must be at work. So this is my mega tray. It's 31 centimeters long. It's over 12 inches. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing a fairy tray. Show Shay the flower trays. Okay, so this is the mega tray first in case you didn't see it. So I want everybody to see this. I'm gonna turn my light because it's not doing, my little light might turn on now. Look at the glitter. I love this glitter. It's like disco. It's so freaking pretty. I'll turn my light pad off there so yeah it's blue see how it's blue I call it blue ice so it just has that tone right because it's all the same as this 
You're off today. Nice. You didn't see my flower trays though. Should I go get a fairy tray to show you guys? I have, I have um, Alisa's fairy tray downstairs in her box or in her pile to go in a box because I'm supposed to get more boxes this afternoon. Maybe I should go get them because we have a couple of new folks in here. Uh, Kayla, hi, welcome, welcome in. Yeah, and look at this, you guys. If you weren't here before, I made this Virgo tray for Carrie at Leopard Leatherworks, and I've got to add the crystals on top. But this is a custom order that you can order with me for with Fairy Light, see? And the other trays that I've made, I also put the Fairy Lights all the way through, but in this case, they're just around the edge because I wanted the middle to be pretty transparent for her. It almost doesn't need the crystals. I'm going to go get Elisa's stuff because she needs to see it anyways. Because your, your rose gold tray is all done, Elisa. I don't know if you fell asleep. Sometimes you don't feel good and you fall asleep. I'll be right back. Here be. Here's the fairy trays. Ba -ba -da -ba. Well, it's an example of. You love seeing the pretties? I was going to turn them right. Still loud, even though I tried to fix it. So yeah, these are the, the same theme, only they have fairies in them. See? So I have fairies in turquoise blue, which is like... I don't know how to describe it. It's like Tiffany blue, actually. I should have just called it Tiffany blue. But um, anyway, so these are Lisa's trays that she, she purchased from me, which is awesome. And they come with a little trashy. This one actually goes with this one. And there's her magnet, see? So it holds it on. So if you bump your tray, then you know, it doesn't just go flying. So there's that one. Elisa, that one's ready to go. It's got its feet and a magnet. This one's trashy is on, is, is just curing right now and getting really hard. This will have a clear sparkle trashy. Something like smaller like this, but just clear glitter for that one. And then this is Elisa's rose gold tray with crystals on top. You see that? I've laid them on top. And I can't see the chat anymore. But there's her magnet. So this is basically a zodiac tray without a zodiac. And there's somebody, um, Gabby, wanted me to do make her a zodiac tray without a zodiac in white and I sent and Gabby if you're here I did send you your invoice on PayPal because you didn't want to use Etsy and I'm fine with doing that by the way you guys if you don't like Etsy and it's you see something I can send you a PayPal goods and services invoice and we can do it that way too it's just everything else is the same it's just another way to buy things I'm also working on Shopify but now I've got to work on like I'm getting it doing something about this computer of mine. The last time I checked with Memory Express, you guys, they told me it was a two week turnaround to even start looking at it. And I'm like, well, I can't go without it for two weeks. I'm better off to go buy another one. I don't know now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's crystals on top. So all the Zodiac ones come with crystals on top. So I'll be loading this one with crystals on top in the blue. This is the sapphire blue. Yep. It's got a little dust on it there. 
But yeah, I haven't done the QC on it yet. But I'm really liking these, just a few bigger stars in there to just give it a little more interest. Yeah. So, I have to send Elisa her PayPal invoice. And send her her things. That's like a pretty full box. Because they're heavy, right? This is like probably... 650 grams for these these once it's all full with the box so that's pretty significant order liana's has been the biggest though liana your order has been the biggest <laughs> sylvia's trying to compete though sylvia's gotten up there did you get your box sylvia did you get it i, I haven't had a chance to check on anything today because i thought wow i um so, guys, I have to make one of these to use myself. <laughs> but I think I think this is the direction I'm heading in or making some of these bigger ones so people can choose. No, not yet. Okay. Hopefully tomorrow. It said two to four days. So tomorrow, I think today is day three. So did you guys like buy anything from Diamond Art Club on the weekend or have there been any new releases yet? And I'm drinking from my unicorn mug. And Jennifer asked a question. Can I do a tray with angels? Yes, I'm going to be doing a mega tray with themes. But I think I'm also going to offer it in ice blue because I think I should I could make a set. I'm going to look at other boxes too. So this is a nice set though. This like this would be really great because this isn't huge. So if you look at this in terms of how big it is compared to that. Okay. The other thing is that nice is it has a lid. Now, the other thing that I'm selling that you guys might not have seen, which also goes well with this tray would be one of these mermaid tail trays like that would be pretty on there with all the sparkles Ooh, i really like this one with it it's a, got a bluey purpley tail that is stinking pretty look at that oh i'm gonna have to keep it <laughs> you're gonna have to order a big one jennifer yeah i don't have any listed but if you want one we can um you can you can message me I don't know, did you order something in the pre-order, pre Jennifer? I've got people on my list for the pre-order. Now that my computer is actually working, I don't remember if you're on my pre-order list. I don't know why I think you might be. So I do have a pre-order link, and if I can get into my YouTube, I will drop it in there so you guys can find the pre-order for um a fairy tray and you can pick your fairy dress and there's a whole video about some examples of the ones that i've just shipped out because i've already sent out like eight trays already and i'm trying to get them out fast to people because um well it's tying in with spring the start of spring as well as the josephine wall event that everybody's that a lot of people are working on and i think they also I, I asked, but I was too late because I, I just started sponsoring events. You did order one with the fairy. I thought so. Didn't you order the blue fairy, the turquoise fairy? Or was it the blue sparkle fairy? No, you got to go look because I got to I got to know. I got to know. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Orders. And oh, there's two Jennifers. That's why. Uh, you ordered a garden flower without. Are you Jennifer? Do you have two last names? One Jennifer ordered a garden flower with no fairy and the other Jennifer, and I won't say the last name in case it's a secret, ordered a blue sparkle dress. So you must have ordered the blue sparkle dress. This is a different last name in Etsy, so I won't do that. Cool. 
Yeah, I'm working on those next. I had like a meltdown. Yeah, you ordered the blue sparkle. Do you want me to go get the blue fairies to show you? Because I have two. Do you like the sassy fairy? Like I have two different kinds of fairies. I have the fairy that looks like she's blowing on things. And then I have the sassy fairy. <laughs> Deb the crafty diamond ordered the sassy fairy. <laughs> I thought, oh, she won't want the sassy fairy, but she's secretly sassy. I hope you're listening, Deb. You sassy woman. I'll go get those uh, fairies to show you. I am back. So I have two blue sparkle fairies here. And I call this one's the little sister and this one's the big sister. This one's sassy. <laughs> I'm not gone, I'm back. What are you talking about? So I think of them as like Barbie and Skipper. <laughs> if you're from the 70s, you know what I'm talking about. But I think this one is sassy because she's got her hand on her hip. She looks like she's in charge of all the flowers. And this one's just like blowing in the air, flying along. Which ones did Elisa get? Did she get the sassy fairy? Oh no, she got one of each. So this is a, the one in the hot pink. This is the hot pink fairy with the big sparkles. And she is like flying in. And all the flowers and backgrounds will turn out slightly different, but the theme is there. Can we see the theme? My kid's a garden theme. You're definitely sassy. Awesome. So they all have, I think they're all pretty in their own right. Because they all have the my artsy fartsy backgrounds. So I don't have time to like make all these paper flowers, but you're a sassy, you want the sassy fairy? Okay, she's gonna be the sassy fairy. She's going in your tray, Jennifer, because I've asked someone, you're the only one that's asked for a blue sparkle fairy. And that's the two I have right now. So since you're here, and I don't know what will happen once the event starts, but um, I probably might get busier. So I'm trying to get the ones I have ordered already. Uh, get them out this week if I can. That's the plan. That's the plan. So I'm liking this. With this. Ooh. Angie might have to keep this. And make another one. Do you guys like this color? I do think the pink is pretty too, because then you could put like, if you had a pink pen, it would tie in with your pink pen. You could put anything with this color. Why is who sassy, Deb? No, Deb, I asked Deb which fairy she wanted. No, no, Jennifer 